All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to get fonts on Pixlr, and I'm also gonna be showing you guys where I get all the fonts that I personally use and all my thumbnails and all my graphics. I'm gonna be going through the whole process of downloading the font, what website to get the font, and how to actually get that font in Pixlr so that you guys can use it for your graphics. Also, they are actually mowing the lawn right outside of my apartment right now, so I hope you guys can't hear any of that. If you guys can, I apologize. But before we get too far into the video, if you guys haven't already, let the like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to go ahead and do so and yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the video so first off i will have everything linked in the description of this video if you guys want to um, access any of the links basically the websites um, I will also have any of the fonts that I use in this video in that uh, description as well if you guys want to check it out. But where I get most of my fonts actually is from defont.com. I would highly recommend for any of you guys who are looking fonts to just use this website. It has pretty much everything on here and you guys also don't have to worry about getting a virus or anything. I've had nothing but good experiences with this website. So a lot of the times I do just kind of browse this website and kind of look through a lot of the categories you guys see here up top just to find something that will kind of fit what I'm looking for. A lot of the times I will just do a bulk download of fonts from this website just so I have a bunch that I can go through later and choose between so a lot of the times I actually use the modern gothic as you guys see right here um, I actually just use this uh, category to find a lot of the fonts that I actually like um, I think they have a lot of kind of like gamer like um, fonts and not even that but just kind of like fonts that look very um very sharp or gamery I guess I could say but we're gonna go ahead and find one that I think looks cool um, I'm just gonna scroll through here a little bit so I thought this one kind of looked pretty interesting Interesting. I don't know how often I'd use it, but we're gonna use this as an example just to start off and actually go through um, the full process. So we're just gonna hit download right here. For me, it brings up this. Um, I'm just gonna hit okay. I don't know exactly if it's gonna bring that up for everyone, but it's gonna bring you right to this zip folder right here. And all you guys need to do is click on this right here, um, the actual font, it'll have the little A um, and that piece of paper next to it just so you know that it's like a font um, file, if that makes any sense. So just click on it click extract to and I usually just extract it to my desktop if you guys want to create a folder for all of these that you can just extract all of them to you guys could as well I do that sometimes when I do um, download them in bulk so I'm just gonna do a desktop for example and I'm gonna click OK and then it should just go straight to my desktop so if I minus out of here and I minus out of here you guys can see it in the top left right here so you guys actually have to do a couple more things after this so you do just want to double click on it and then if you guys want to download this for Photoshop all you need to do is hit the install button right here um, and then it will just automatically show up in Photoshop when you open it up but it is a separate process for Pixlr so you don't need to do anything in here for Pixlr you're just gonna exit out and make sure you have that on your desktop or wherever you um, wherever you put it so we're gonna hop into Pixlr here and I'm just gonna go to Pixlr E it should be the very same uh, process in Pixlr X um, but we're just going to create new. I'm just going to do the thumbnail template for now. Go ahead and click add text. Just click the down arrow and then click add local font. And then all you guys need to do is actually find that file that I saved to my desktop. You guys may have saved somewhere else. And let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. So this is actually the font file. So if I just double click that, as you guys can see, it added right here. And we have our font in Pixlr. So essentially, this is gonna be the same exact process. You're gonna to have to do this for each font that you guys want to install on Pixlr. Now, the really cool thing about Pixlr, in my opinion, is that when you add a font, it actually saves, I believe, like just to the PC or whatever. So every time you open Pixlr, it's gonna have the fonts that you uh, download or that you add um, each time. You don't have to re-add them after um, you say exit out of the uh, window. Um, you can just open it up again after you maybe turn your PC off and turn it back on, and it will still be there. And I think that's super awesome. As you guys can see, I had this one in here already, which I actually will leave a link to the uh, Fortnite font if any of you guys want it in the description. I know a ton of people ask me on my channel for the Fortnite font, um, so I'll leave a link in the description to the uh, website to actually download that. Now, as I said before, defont.com is going to be the place to get all of your fonts, but some fonts that you may find online um, that some YouTubers use, they aren't all on defont.com. Some of them you do have to install from like other websites, which can always bring up the thing is that you guys need to make sure you're not downloading a virus. Um, just be careful out there for example that fortnite font that i actually have a link for in the description you cannot find on defont.com unfortunately um you do have to get a different website but i will link that website in the description if you guys want to download it and yeah i think that pretty much explains everything that 
I kind of wanted to go through in this video for you guys. If you guys want to see like a full list or you guys want me to do a whole video on the exact fonts that I use and you guys maybe want me to like link them all to you guys, I will. Um, just let me know in the comment section down below if that's something that you guys would like to see. If you guys have any questions about font, um, text or any pixel questions in general, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below as well. I will answer all of them to the best of my ability. I appreciate all of you guys who are still here watching. If you guys found this video helpful at all, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and leave a comment down below. Again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.